Game Maker How To, do a basic button with a little rollover. So the graphic changes a bit when you have the mouse on top of that button. Uh, this will just be a simple way to do it with the Game Maker events. Uh, you'll see here I'm continuing off a video called Basic Buttons. So I already have a button here called Start Button. And you know, when it's left released, I go to the next room in my game. Now what I want to do is I want to make it so this button maybe looks a little bit different. There's really two approaches you can do here. You can either find an entirely different sprite, and I'll show you that way. So create sprite. Let's call sprite start button roll. And I'm going to just make this ridiculous. I'll just say it's the, uh, I don't know, I'll say it's the loading button. Just so we have something. And all I want to do is I just want to change to that sprite when the mouse rolls over. And I want to change back to the other sprite when the mouse rolls out. So it's just really sprite changing commands for the first method I'll show you here. So start button. Let's go to add event. Mouse. And there's two events here. There's mouse enter and mouse leave. I'll, uh, I'll do the mouse leave first. So when the mouse leaves here, let's just do a nice sprite change command. Sprite index equals sprite. Now, when I'm leaving the button, I should go back to it in its first original state. And that state was start button. Okay. When I have the mouse entering, that's what I want it to change. So, you know, a special look, like a bordered look maybe an animated one, you know, something cool. That's when I go sprite index equals sprite. I think I called it start button. There it was. Start button roll. Okay, which would be a better sprite that shows the user that you've got that one selected. And so that's really it. Mouse enter, mouse leave is a nice basic way. And well, let's just see that in action. So you can see there, it doesn't make any sense that it says loading, but you get the general idea, right? What you would do there. Now, is it possible to trick it? Can you move so fast that it doesn't detect? Oh, look at that. I tricked it. Now, even though that mouse enter and mouse leave is a very simple way to do it, I did sort of fool the program there. Right? By whipping out fast. Now, as long as you're okay with your user not doing that, I think you're going to be totally good. Now, if you want to see a way to do this exact same effect without the user being able to trick it, really what you have to do is, is take these two events out of there, and I'll just show you the code here, and you can, uh, you can try it after. But you'd want to put the code inside of the step event for this button. And what I'm going to do in the step event is I'm going to constantly be asking a question, is the mouse colliding with me? And this line may be a little advanced for beginners, but you can just copy it in there and it'll work. But the command is called if instance position. So I'm basically checking, is there an instance at the position I name? Now the position I name is going to be the position of the mouse. So the mouse is X. And the mouse is Y. Those are built into Game Maker. And the object I'm checking it against, well, this button is saying, hey, is the mouse on top of me? And one way to say uh, me when you name an object is you say ID. Every object has an ID. And if this is going over your head, that's not bad if you're a beginner. But what this sends back to me is if it does collide with an object of its type, it sends back a number bigger than zero. So I'm going to check, is it bigger than zero, what comes back to me? And if it is, I go sprite index equals, because remember, this means the mouse is in contact with me, the start button. So then I change it to sprite, start button, roll. Otherwise, I put my sprite to index, start button. And that's it. So this should work as well. So what I'll do is I'll just test this one out. 
I'll take, uh, I'm trying to see what to do with that one. I'll just comment out the code there and comment out the code there. And that's just an alternative. It's just the step method code, which may be a little tricky for beginner, but it will work. And you'll see it still works. But that one can't be fooled by a weird mouse moving over and under. So I don't know. I prefer it, even if it seems a little complicated. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's your mouse rollovers. Go have fun with that and make uh, your mouse buttons look better. We do have a video on buttons animated. So things like you press the button, and before it goes to the next room, all the buttons slide off the screen. So you've seen those effects in some games, right? Where the, the buttons do a little more as you press, and they slide in, they slide out menus. Uh, go search our videos for a couple of those in there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.